Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to part 8 of my Pushing One Games Collection 2012. And I was actually wrong in the last part, and the last part I said that was basically the end of my PS1 games. But um, I was actually looking in my drawers the other night, I was looking in my PS2 drawer, and I actually forgot there was actually some PS1 games in there. I mean, most of them are pretty crap like, but um, obviously I should really mention them. So I'm going to mention them here, so that'll take about 8 minutes maybe or something like that. And then I'll get to like the demos and stuff, because I want to show you the demos. Um, talk about them briefly, and um, yeah, so um, we'll start with the games, and um, start with this one, uh, Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, which is actually the first ever Star Wars game I ever played, and I uh, actually really enjoyed it, but I remember when I, was, when I was younger, basically I was stuck in this level for ages, level with tanks, some weird water creatures, remember, um, it took me a while to figure out how to get past the level, not because it was hard, just because I didn't really know where to go. And when I finally figured out where to go, got into the next level, it froze. And I noticed on the disc there's like a little chip, like a little dent. And obviously it's not going to play past that because the data is just knackered. So um, it's a shame. I need to rebuy this because I actually really, really enjoyed this game. Um, episode 1, Phantom Menace. So um, yeah, I need to rebuy that because I thought it was a really, really, uh, really, really fun game, you know. Uh, next we have... Oh, God. Checkmate. Oh dear. It's chess. I'm not a fan of chess. I'm sorry to anybody that is a fan of chess. But um, it's not just because I don't like chess. I just found this game frustrating as hell. It was really difficult. I mean, even on like the easiest difficulty, it was extremely difficult. They knew exactly what they were doing and they kicked my ass basically. So it's basically a standard budget title. I don't know if you can see the chess board in there. But that's basically what it is. Just standard. Nothing fancy about it, so it's not a chess fan. Next we have Alone in the Dark, a new nightmare on uh, PS1. Against this yeah, the case smashed to hell. But yeah, I've got this on the PS2 now, but for some reason I kinda like the PS1 better. I don't know why. I think it's more just like nostalgia, it's probably nothing different. I know the graphics will probably not be quite as good. I don't think it was as laggy as on the, on the PS2. I remember, I don't remember it being like laggy in this back in the day. But on the PS2, it can be a bit laggy at times, and it's a bit annoying. So I need to give us a shot. But the problem is, the disc scratched to hell. I mean, I didn't look after my games when I was younger. As you see, it's the artwork starting to fall off. Cause I really didn't look after this game. Um, smashed to pieces. Um, but a really, really scary game. Uh, I really like this game, to, to be honest. I bloody love it. But, um, like I say, that disc's knackered. The music skips, it freezes. Um, just didn't look after it, really. Okay, next we have... <laughs> the Dalmatians. <laughs> I remember getting this back in the day. I thought it was uh, going to be like a you know, platformer, you know. But it's not. It's... It's... It's kind of just like a kids game really, it's, you can watch like a 30 minute movie, there's like colouring, you can colour in a picture or something, um, puzzle, there's a puzzle in it, so it's not a platformer and it's crap, so yeah, I don't know why I've still got that to be honest. Next we have uh, Stuart Little 2, um, yeah obviously it's one of those kiddie games, I'm not a fan of it to be honest, it's a platformer and just didn't have much going about it. I did complete it fully when I was younger, but I didn't really find that enjoyable. I mean, it wasn't just not enough action, so it's due to all two. This is getting bloody worse. Pop Star Maker. <laughs> um, yeah, you make your own band, um, make your own music and stuff, see if you can get into the charts, um, perform live performances and stuff. And um, didn't really have much, like, it wasn't very, like, in depth, so you couldn't, like, have, like, a you know, huge amount of like, options and stuff. It was pretty basic, pretty standard, and not a fan, to be honest. And it, next, it's one of those stupid movie things again. It is Anastasia. Yeah, it's another one of those, um, just like the Dalmatians, it's a, a 30 minute film, um, cartoony thing, uh, puzzle and um, the colouring, colouring book thing. <laughs> I actually had another one, Wine and the King, I don't know if I've showed that one, but it's not here, so 
don't know where it's went. <laughs> Next, we have Jimmy White's Cue Ball 2. Which is a pool and a snooker game with some things like darts, um, drafts. You can play all those kind of games. And it was a really good game, I thought. A really, really fun game for the PS1. Didn't look after it, of course, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, really, really good game. I really um, put some hours into that because I was a, quite a big fan of pool games. And uh, snooker. So um, yeah, do you know like Cube Ball 2? Quite good. Not as good as like the newer like PS2 and that. They're obviously a lot better looking. Next we have Monsters Inc. Scare Island. Um, I remember I did actually play for this when I was younger. I played for it about two or three nights. From what I can remember, remember hardly anything about it until I watched um, Stars Gaming One Zero Zero Nine's Let's Play. This he's doing a he's done a blind Let's Play this game, which I've almost finished watching. I've watched him complete the game, but he's going to one hundred percent in the game. Which I don't know if I did back in the day, I honestly can't remember. Um, so yeah, it's quite interesting watching his Let's Play to see what the game was actually like. Because I didn't, I remember kind of enjoying it when I was younger, but when I look back on it now, it just looks terrible. In my opinion. Um, so yeah, Monster Link Scare Island. I think that's on the PS2 as well. So, sure it is. Next we have uh, three games in one. We've got a uh, Road Rash, Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars, and Mist. Which I don't actually have Road Rage. Uh, Road Rage. I don't actually have a uh, Road Rash, which was actually my favourite game on here. I would probably say, nah, second favourite. I would say Road Rash was my second favourite on here, but I got a crack in the disc. I don't know how I got a crack in it, but uh, yeah, it got cracked, and obviously it wouldn't play when it was cracked, you know. But we have. Um, that's Broken Sword, Shadow of Templars, and that is um, Mist. You can see them on the back there as well. Uh, Broken Sword, Shadow of Templars, absolutely fantastic point and clicking game. Absolutely love that game to death. I've got it on the PC. I've got a uh, PC version of it, you know, a disc. And I've also got it on Steam as well, the Director's Cut. So, obviously love that game. Mist, not my kind of game, and just didn't understand what I was doing back in the day. I just had no clue. I really should give it a shot, see if it actually, um, can it actually make any sense of the game, because it looks really, really confusing, not really my kind of game. Like I said, it's got lost, I was just exploring and didn't know what I was doing really. But um, yeah, Broken Sword Shadow Temple is a fantastic game, even though my disc on here is a bit scratched, so it skips like scenes and stuff. And um, So I'm glad I've got it on the PC. So. It's better on the PC anyway, yeah, uh, put in quick kind of games. Okay, so that's the end of the PlayStation 1 games. Uh, so now I'll go on to the demos, if anybody's interested, as I thought I'll show you them anyway. There's a PS2 demo, I don't know what that's doing there, uh, I'll sort that out later. First one we have here, I think this was one of the first ones I got, I believe, it's this one. We obviously Crash Bandicoot, some Tekken characters on the, on the front there. Uh, registered users demo free. So, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had like Trash Bandicoot and Tekken and stuff. Obviously, just the games that are on the cover. It's an F1 game. Uh, I don't really remember, to be honest. It's been a while. So, that's that one. But next is this one, which I think was the first one I ever had. Which, on the back, it's got uh, Abe's Odyssey, which I've got Hercules, uh, Life Force Tanka, Post Challenge, which I really like Post Challenge. Rage Racer was pretty fun. Rapid Racer was pretty fun. Karushi... It's a bit weird, but it was it was quite enjoyable. Overboard was really fun, but I think Karushi and Overboard are rare. I know Karushi is. Um, that's some on the back there. So that's that one. And we have the Metal Gear Solid demo thing. Which is actually my favourite demo, uh, I would say, because it's got like a whole load of games in it. It's got a whole load, it's got like 12 or 14 uh, Net Yarosa games, which were actually really, really good games, actually. I really enjoyed them. Got Metal Gear Solid, Devil Dice, Cool Borders 3, Max Power Racing, V2000, Scars, um, Bugs Life, I think that was just a, a you know, like a movie thing. I don't, I don't think I actually had uh, any gameplay on it. You couldn't actually play it, basically. But Metal Gear Solid I loved, so. And next we have this one. This demo disc, which is what? Playable Demos 5. Um, Engine Racing, Call of Duty Rally 2.0, Jedi Power Battles, which I loved and I've got, but I've not actually put too much time in it. 
Uh, Hogs of War. I loved Hogs of War. I need to get that game. It's about £10, but Hogs of War was fantastic. Really liked that game. Next we have the official UK PlayStation magazine, Disc 93. So there's that. Which I actually liked Lilo and Stitch on it, I don't know why. Um, but I remember playing Lilo and Stitch and Treasure Planet. And I thought they were quite fun. Like platformers I think. Uh, Firebugs, uh, Dancing Stage, Party Edition, uh, Lilo and Stitch, Trouble in Paradise, Monsters Inc. Oh god. Rayman Rush, uh, Street World 2, Treasure Planet, World Rally Championship Arcade and Formula 1 Arcade. So um, yeah, like I say, I've uh, quite enjoyed um, Lilo and Stitch and um, Treasure Planet. I have no idea why I like Lilo and Stitch, but oh well. <laughs> and we have this one, um, Essential PlayStation CD7, which had Tomb Raider 2, Colony Ward, Odd World Abe's Odyssey, G Police, Fell in 11 to 79, uh, Rallycross, John Alumu, Rugby, I don't like rugby, Nightmare Creatures, quite, quite a good game, uh, Robotron X, and Spider, which I thought was a really, really good platformer. So uh, there's that one. Next, this is actually the game when it was very rare, which is very rare now. It's uh, Tombi. It's like forty pounds on eBay or something, something crazy like that. Uh, it had on it uh, Test Drive Five Ninja, which was quite a good game. I liked Ninja. Circuit Breakers, which was kind of like a, a micro machines uh, kind of game. Tombi, which is really rare. G Darius, fantastic arcade game. Love that game to death. Um, and those side scrolling shooters. Uh, Scars. Is that never, never demo this with Scarf in it? God. Uh, World Week Sucker, Net Your Rosa, Saichun, and Spire the Dragon. So, obviously, Spire the Dragon is fantastic. So, that is that one. Next, we have Station Magazine Disc 5, which had on it a Dex Deep Cover Gecko, which I'm a, quite a big fan of. I really, really like that game. Really, really enjoyable platformer. But on this we had a Gex Deep Cover Gecko, Premier Manager Season 9899, Max Power Racing, Michael Owens World League Soccer 99, Scars, again Scars, uh, Shadow Gunner, they were pushing the Scars, aren't they? With the net like every demo disc. <laughs> Next we have Station Magazine Disc 6. Uh, which had a Premier Manager 99. Uh, which I actually liked because it actually, I believe I had uh, like real life pictures of the football players unlike any manager game I'd ever played before. I'm sure it was this one. Uh, Viva Football Warzone 2100 which was like a strategy game. I didn't really know how to play it. Legacy of Kane, Soul, Re uh, Soul Reaver, Rival Schools which is a fantastic fighting game and then Motorhead which apparently is kind of like Wipeout but I have no idea. Okay and the last uh, three demo discs. Here, um, official UK PlayStation Magazine disc uh, 41. It says Michael Owen on the uh, cover. On this one, we have Michael Owen's World League Soccer 99, Roll Cage, Monkey Hero, Rival Schools, uh, Akuji the Heartless, Wild Nine, which is interesting, Tool Shark, which is pretty good, uh, Metal Gear Solid again, which I think is just uh, the video, not actually the game, and uh, Net Yarose Total Soccer. So uh, Rival School's are really enjoyable and um, well nine. And I also got like the Akuji the Heartless, that was quite an interesting looking game. Next we have Official Play Official UK PlayStation Magazine Disc 17 Volume 2. Which well, obviously this one's got Gran Turismo on it. Which is fantastic of course. This one we have Gran Turismo, like I say fantastic, Call of Duty Rally, Bomberman World, Dead or Alive, Death Trap Dungeon. Completely forgot that was on there. Clonoa, which was a really good platform I thought. Uh, War Games. Uh, WCW Nitro. Uh, pretty interesting looking wrestling game. Circuit Breakers, that's that game. It's like Micro Machines again. So, um, yeah, cool. So, is that one. And the last one. Station Magazine, Disc 8. Apparently had a UEFA Champions League on it. So, let's see what's on this. Yeah, for Champions League, Gex Deep Cover Gecko again, Eliminator, Retro Force, plus, uh, Tomb Raider 2, fantastic, I love Tomb Raider 2, Mega Man X4, Mega Man Legends, Bowman Fantasy Race, R Types, and MSH vs Street Fighter. What the hell is MSH? 
I can't remember what MSHS to be honest, but oh well, it's versus Street Fighter anyway. So um, yeah, that's my demo discs. So um, yeah, we'll wrap the video off with some, um, to show you some memory cards quickly here. Okay, so I'll show you these memory cards which are in here. I actually still got this memory card, but for some reason this only seems to work on the swim position. Uh, I don't know if it worked on the fat one, I really can't remember, um, but it doesn't work on the PS2, so. so I've got a few memory cards in here. Uh, that's the one there, it's basically the one in the, in the, you know, the box. That's its official box. Uh, yeah, it only seems to work on the Slim PS1, not in anything else, so that's kind of useless, isn't it? Because then I play most of my games on the, the PS2 now, my PS1 games. Next, we've got official ones here. Four official ones, the you know the grey ones. One, two, three. Slipping up my hand and four, yeah. So four official, uh, official grey ones. Yeah. Next we have these ones, which uh, I really like. These ones, um, the Joytech, the blue one. I actually quite like. That. I used to have a red one as well. Um, it's exactly the same as this, but obviously red. I um, don't know what happened to it. But we have the PlayStation memory card here as well. I think this is an official one as well. Yeah, Sony. Found the see-through ones. Cool. <laughs> and I uh, have a blue one. So those are my memory cards. And we have the console, of course, the PS1. Slim. I don't actually have the fat one anymore. I've had two fat ones, I think. But I always have the same problem. Obviously, the disc holder, the... Well, clips snap and obviously it comes tumbling out and nothing really you can do about that, I don't think. And we have the official controllers. We have the the, the original one, the small one, which is really comfortable to play to play with, basically in your hand. It's really, really comfortable. And obviously we've got the one with analog sticks, which I don't know if that works on the PS2. Probably not. I've not really checked that. And the last one I've got to show you is a strategy guide. I've only got one strategy guide. Um, and also, this came with a game that I bought but for £30, brand new back in the day. It was Resident Evil 3 and the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis uh, Strategy Guide, which is a pretty cool guide, I would say. It's a bit worse for wear, it's a bit tatty now. Didn't look after it when I was younger, you know. But it uh, basically gives you like, the enemies and stuff, and um, you know, some pretty cool illustrations, really. Um, really like it, you know. So, um, yeah, that's basically what it is. And, um, yeah, I probably wouldn't have beat Resident Evil 3 back in the day if it wasn't for this game, because there was a couple of puzzles I was stuck on for a while, so it was really useful to have that book. So now, guys, that's my PS1 games collection and accessories. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you all later. My throat's getting dry with mention all those bombing games and the demos, God. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. See you guys. Thanks for watching.